Good morning. I've got the flash on me again because it's so dark. It's 10 past seven, starting the vlog in the car again because we've got this gym momentum going, which is good. I'm slightly worried about the time. No, it's fine. I've done my rough edit of the vlog, which is my new routine now. I wake up, have a coffee, let the animals out, feed them and do like a rough edit of the vlog because it just lowers my like worry for the day that I can get on because I know I've done that rough edit and if any of you are like budding youtubers or anything or getting into editing videos my biggest recommendation over the years i've learned is to not get sucked into this like level of perfection with editing and to just like do a rough edit and come back to it because you'd be surprised like when you go back to it, you're like actually everything looks really good whereas when you're like hyper focusing on it you get sucked in and make try and do things perfectly and it can take a really long time it's so effective I imagine it could be applied to any creative work where you do a rough version and then you go away and come back. It just helps so much. So I'm really loving this routine. My legs are on fire today. I cannot explain. I can barely sit on the loo or walk up the stairs. A serious beginner uh, doms right now, but I'm going to do, I think, upper body today because it might be full body, but I can't do full body because I cannot do any leg exercise today. So I'm just going to do upper body. I'm going to be fixing my nails today. Not fixing, they're totally fine, but getting them redone because they've grown out a little bit. Though they actually look so good. Ever since I've been going to Clara Bella Beauty, um, Stephanie Lauren in Helston, my nails are just so good. They last so well. I, I need to decide what I'm going to go for. I feel like I want to go for red and maybe put some chrome on there or some glitter because it's going to be my festive nails. Yeah, today I'm also going to finish off the hallway finally finish off I mean I'm gonna roller and um maybe see how how much momentum I get and maybe do the skirting but we know we don't, don't know I don't know how much energy I'll have because we're off to London tomorrow for a couple of days so I kind of want it ticked off like that big chunk of it and I can put the, that paint away and fingers crossed we may get a burst of energy and then I want to do the skirtings or I want to do the door I might do a door you know I don't know. We will see. Let's go to the gym. Workout is done. And something I've been meaning to do is update Jill on Copilot about basically what I want. So she like messaged me the other day and said, how are you doing? And sent me a little voice note. So I'm going to do that quickly now. Hi, Jill. I've just finished my workout today and I thought I would update you because I forgot to last time. I hope you've been well as well and um, you're looking forward to Christmas and the holidays. So yeah, hope you're well too and I'll speak to you soon. I just sent her a little message so hopefully she can see that. The only change that I wanted was to get rid of the pull-ups. One of my goals when I first started doing the gym again was to get my pull-up back but it's been a while since I've been to the gym so it's that's kind of a goal that you would need to have once you're kind of getting your strength back. So for now, I just want to focus on the routine of the gym, getting my strength back, and then maybe next year I can focus on getting my pull-ups. But I just, when a gym is full of men and you have to like get a resistance band out and do pull-ups and you can barely even do two, even with a resistance band, I just don't feel like doing that in front of a whole room of people. Especially this time of day. I do love coming, but it is like the busiest time. But that's probably because it's the most convenient. I'm gonna go home now, what time is it? Okay, that's fine, I'll go home, have breakfast, and then let's go get these nails sorted. I really don't, I keep on changing my mind, and every time I go to get my nails done, 
I'm sitting there like, oh, I'm not really sure what I should do. <laughs> and I'm also unsure whether to keep this kind of soft square shape, which is quite flattering, I think, on my hands. So it's not almond, it's like, it's square, but it's not a sharp square. Or whether to go back to like a shorter almond shape. I don't really know, I like both. I need to look on Pinterest. Oh my gosh, also, I was listening to such a good playlist. It is Girly Gym Pop. Oh, G Girly Gym Pump by Kate Goodman. It just, I just searched gym workout and it came up. But it's like Ariana Grande, Rihanna, Beyonce, Doja Cat, Nicki Minaj, just Cardi B, Olivia Rodrigo. It's just very, <laughs> like, it was making me feel very motivated in the gym. Hello, Chicky. Hi. <laughs> Look at that booty. Look at that booty. Hi, chicken. Are you going to your bed? Oh, you got my croc. Your daddy's croc. Good girl. Yeah. Yeah, such a good girl. I've not given myself the right size plate. OOTD. I've got my vintage jacket that I got the other day in Halston. This red turtleneck, which a lot of you like a lot. I might tuck it in, not sure. These trousers are from Lucy and Yak. They're velvety corduroys and they're so comfortable i love them so much and then i've got my cherry red vegan doc martens which i actually don't know that i've worn in like this autumn yet because they were covered in dust but i thought it worked with the red do i need to tuck this in or we'll do a little do a little front tuck is that better that usually looks better anyway i've got to go i think i'm running late now <gasps> I'm liking my hair today. I left it like I put what did I put in it? I used the Aveda shampoo and the uh, you know what I use, don't you, Al? Yes. <laughs> and I used the shower gel. A Shea Moisture mask, which I love. And then I used the Olaplex bonding serum, I think it's called. And maybe just a little bit of the Jonathan Van Ness like volumizing mousse and then just rough dried it and then left it to dry overnight and I I kind of like this look because it means that I can have it's kind of straight kind of wavy but it's not like curly because sometimes when you have curlier or I don't have curly hair wavy hair you've got a lot of product in your hair and you have to like make it look good every day and it kind of it's like high maintenance so having hair like this where it's just like whatever is quite nice I like the look of it, it looks casual. And um, when I use a blow dry to straighten it, I find it just doesn't last and it makes my hair ends up being a bit lank and greasy looking because my hair is fine. This gives a bit of volume. Anyway, I'm um, enough about my hair. Also, little hack, tuck your turtleneck inside rather than outside. Um, it looks way neater. I saw this hack on TikTok and it looks, it looks so good. What nails shall I get, Alex? I think I should Cheapest go. Ones. They're the, all the same price. I think I should go for a red, Christmassy red, maybe with a bit of chrome or a bit of glitter. Yes. Dumb. Simple. <laughs> Thanks for your contribution. Sorry. My nails are done. Where are you? What do you think of my nails? Oh, they're so good. Are they? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna tell her that. 
because she said that last time I got my nails done, she went to get a coffee and when she came out, she saw us walking down the road and she saw me showing you my nails and going like, look, look, and being really excited. <laughs> and she said it was a proper fly on the wall moment and she said it was really cute. That's nice. Yeah, I know. She was like, it was so sweet seeing how happy I was. And I was like, look. But she basically did red and it was like this red. And then she did gold chrome and then topped it with like a, a glossy red, I think. So if you want the same, there's a bit of chrome on my cuticles, but she said it'll come off when I like wash my hands. Look at this. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful? The sunshine is a paid actor. Look at that. Obviously those gold bits will, around the edge will go once I wash my hands, but could not be happier. Alex has just picked up his vegan sausage roll from Rose. <laughs> Are they good, those ones? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Back at my favorite place. We forgot our bag, so I've got tofu <laughs> in each little pouch. And I've got like all the stuff, the tin of beans in that pocket. And then I've got snacks in there. It's a charity shop jacket. Yes. Could I be any more vegan? Putting tofu in my vintage jacket. <laughs> Now it gets sunny at the end of the walk. You a bit wet? <laughs> You're right. Back home with my gorge nails. Let me show you what we got in the shop. Some snacks for the journey. These are the Calo Belgian dark chocolate organic rice cake thins. I love rice cakes. I love anything puffy shaped like crisps, speaking of which. And um, these are delish. These eat real creamy dill crisps for the journey. And Alex got himself a pasty, I think, for the journey as well. I needed to stock up on some tea. So we've got this winter warmer. Couldn't resist that from Pucker and then the Clipper peppermint because I'd run out of peppermint tea. I saw these and I thought these would be perfect. I'm gonna make like a kind of salad for the journey with the stuff I got in M&S the other day. I did get some beans. We'll see if I need to add them because I got those um, sprouted beans. I'll like make the salad later, probably this evening. And I might cook some potatoes. I don't know, basically I'm just gonna put it in some containers and see what it needs. This is the best thing in the world, the mango. Reminds me of being in Thailand and it's so cripplingly expensive, but it just tastes heavenly. We've got some tofu, which I'm gonna put in the salad, some smoked tofu from Tafen. And then Alex also got this, two seed rissol. So I'm assuming he's gonna take that. Is that everything we bought? I think so. I'm gonna make myself lunch, which is basically just the leftovers from yesterday. 
in here. So I'm just gonna whack this in the microwave and oh, I did use up all the dressing. So I'll put something on top of it. Maybe some, I'll have a look. Maybe some tahini or something. Oh, I think maybe we've got hummus. I'll see. Ta-da! Time to dig in. Not in a good way, everybody. I'm not in a good way. I said when I went back to the gym, I was like, I'm gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna overdo it. And I don't think I did. I've reduced my weights so significantly, but something about going back to the gym, I forget the first week you go back to the gym, you are so tired because it's, it's so much harder. Oh my gosh, this dog. Look at her. Bobby, what are you doing? Yeah, I think uh, com the combination of going back to the gym, Vlogmas, and then like waking up earlier because I switched my routine back to waking up at six. I am so tired. And it's that time like post ovulating when I was talking to you about periods and menstruation and how much your energy is impacted. I think all those things combined means I am so tired today. I'm trying to like, edit my videos and there's like certain things that I need to get ticked off before I go to London. So I need to edit a few reels, announce a competition, which if it is already announced, I'll link it below. Go over to my Instagram. There's a chance to win a Smeg mixer. So go have a look on my Instagram account. Um, it should be my, my most, if not one of my most recent posts. It'll be the me, me with the Smeg mixer. I have been sitting here working just dreading doing the hallway or roller ring. I have this like anxiety because I'm going to London. I'm like, I need to do it before London. And then I remembered what I said to myself, which was there is no rush and I'm putting that pressure on myself. And I do that too often. So if you are similar, I'm gonna share because I always do. If you've set yourself a pressurized goal as someone who is a perfectionist or someone who has like high standards for themselves, or sets high expectations of themselves, you can, midway through having that expectation or that standard, say that it, you don't have to do it. Like, that is possible. You can just say, nope, don't wanna do it. And nobody is gonna come and bite you. No one's gonna come and tell you off. There isn't some authority figure who's gonna come and get you. You don't have to set expectations or pressure yourself. Because if anything, that makes you dig your heels in more and makes you kind of less likely to do it because you feel so overwhelmed by it. Um, and that's something I've learned through a lot of therapy that like, the expectations and the pressure you put on yourself, it doesn't have to be there. <laughs> so like I can just right now just say, nope, not doing the hallway today. I'm gonna be resting and chilling and that's okay. I just feel so tired that I literally could fall asleep right now. That's how tired I feel, which is not like me. I am very high energy all the time. I don't really usually feel like this. I, that's what makes me think it's just the gym. It is, I think it's a physical sensation I'm having. I almost just want to go. I just want to go to London and do it at the weekend. But then it's the weekend before Christmas. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? I'm loving my nails. Good evening. I'm not doing the hallway because we're in an era where we're listening to our bodies and we're doing slow renovating, slow living, no pressure. And I want to go to London feeling fresh, not feeling exhausted. So this evening I'm gonna pack and switch off and have a bath. And if you want to go and enter the giveaway for Make It Vegan, then go to my Instagram account and check that out. And I will see you tomorrow. And thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Oh, emoji is... <laughs> pie? pie? There's a pie emoji, which pie. kind of looks like a Wellington. As in like, what sort of pie? Type in pie, then the emoji comes up. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Like a little steaming pie. Not the symbol pie. No. <laughs> this dog. You ready to go out? To the toilet! Come <laughs> 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 then.